Hey ladies and gentlemen, I just want to do a quick video on how to set up a scoreboard and how you could set scores um, for your game. It's always nice to, um, you know, to, to do that when, you, when you've got a game, a bit, a bit of competition. Um, first of all, can I just say, if you don't hit the save button and you go away from your computer and you come back and you haven't hit the save button, nothing will be saved. I just fi found that out the wrong way. Okay, for a start, I'm just going to click on tiles and layer one. I'm going to lock those so I can't move those around. You'll note, you may have noticed that if you've got that layer one on, you can move, if you've got it unlocked, you can do that. And we don't want to do that, obviously. So I'm going to lock those two. Yeah, if you haven't already locked them. So now I can get to just these things and you can see these are on the layer of player and enemies. If they're on the wrong one, it's very easy to just take, I can't get that one, I don't know. Um, you can just take it and you can move it onto the right layer, okay? So I'm going to go back to player and enemies. Um, I'm going to um, set up a scoreboard, yeah. So object types, right-hand mouse button, add new object type. It's going to be text. So I'm finding text and I'm going to call it scoreboard. 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 Um, I'm going to hit it insert and I'm going to insert it up here, yeah? I'm going to insert it here and make it that big. You can see, I don't know whether you can see those dotted lines that are there and there. That's the viewport, yeah, and the viewport is that size, and I want the text to sit there right at the viewport. I want the text to be Arial if I want, whatever. I'm gonna make it like 60, 60 size, and I'm gonna make it a color that's very visible, so I'm gonna make it like a pinkish color, yeah, and now you can see that it's it's that there, and it just says text. I haven't got it, I haven't done it to do anything else. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna code it so that it says um, the score, okay? So remember um, when uh, you're collecting um, collecting chalices and the collect count system variable went up and up and up and up and when it got to three, um, you went to the windscreen. We're going to change that a little bit. Um, so that collect count, you can see that I've got this slash through it. What I've done is I've right hand mouse buttoned on that and I've toggled it to disabled. So able, yeah, disabled. So I'm going to turn it off because I'm probably going to change that around. And I'll talk about that more later on. The scoreboard is really, really easy. I just want at every, for every time that the game's playing, I want the scoreboard, where is the scoreboard? I want the scoreboard to say what the score is. So I want the text to be set as, okay. In the inverted brackets, this is the stuff that doesn't change. Yeah, so I'm gonna write score, double dot, space, yeah. And then I'm gonna write and, what was the what was it collect count collect count and it comes up so i can double click on that done so what it's saying is that i want the text to read score double dot space and whatever the number of collect counts i've got yeah so if i press play you should see in the top left hand box oops i can't see in the top left hand box yeah it should say here score equals zero but because i've dragged my knight to here and because the viewport is this here instead of over, over there, it's staying there. So what I need to do on that scoreboard is I need to give it a behavior. So I can right hand mouse button and edit behavior, or I can go over here and add a behavior. What I'm going to do is I'm going to anchor it, anchor that object relative to the viewport, add. Okay. So now that's a behavior. Yeah. Now if I press play, I can see the score. Okay, so the score equals zero because that's what the collect count um, is. Okay, so that's a really, really, really easy way to add a scoreboard. Yeah, um, I'll talk now very quickly about how you might add to the to the scoreboard. Yeah, you've already done this with um, the collect count of the chalice. Yeah, so when the knight collides with chalice, destroy the chalice and add one to collect count. I've faffed around. Yeah, and, um, and I'll explain to you now about how I faffed around to, to add scores. I've said that there are two chalices. I said there's a chalice and then I said there's a chalice too. All I did is I right hand mouse buttoned over chalice and I said, um, I said clone. So I end up with a chalice two and I'll show you where my chalice one and chalice two are. But what I've said that every time I hit a chalice, I get a hundred to collect count. Yeah, and then I've got on collision with chalice two, I'm going to go to a, the windscreen, okay? So what I've got now, I'll just show you over here, is this one here is a chalice one. And can you see, can you see, oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure the chalice is on the wrong, um, 
is on the wrong layer. So I'm going to unlock and unlock so I can actually click on it. That chalice is on tiles. I need to move it to players and enemies. Yeah. So I'm going to grab that chalice and I move that from tiles to player and enemies. But that's called chalice. Yeah. So when I hit chalice, when I hit chalice, the, the chalice destroys and I get 100 points. And this one here is called, is also called chalice. I'm going to delete that one. And I'm actually going to drag chalice two in there. Drag chalice two. And that's chalice two. And I'm going to put that on the players and enemies as well. So I've got it so that when I hit this, I get 100 points. When I hit this, I get 100 points. And when I get to that one, when I get to chalice two, I destroy it. I get 200 to the click count. And then I go to the win screen. Okay. So it's exactly the same as before. But instead of going to the win screen and, and no scoreboard, I'll have a scoreboard on the win screen. Okay. Um, I guess I'll show you how to set that up now. Yeah. So I'll show you how to set up the windscreen. Can you see that this layouts, I don't have windscreen up here, but if I click on there, I can double click on there. I can see the windscreen. Yeah. And I can double click on there and I can see the coding for the windscreen. There's nothing in the windscreen at the moment. So what I need to do in the windscreen, I'm going to zoom that out a bit. I'm going to add a new object. Yeah. And I'm going to call the object. It's going to be some text. And I'm going to call the text the uh, um, win score. I'm going to call it win score. Okay. And I'm going to insert it there. I'm going to insert it here. Yeah. And I'm going to make it really big. Yeah. And I'm going to make it um, like say um, 80. And I'm going to make the color. Yeah, that looks good. Like that color. And I'll make the vertical, the horizontal alignment in the in the center. So it looks like that. Maybe I'll make it. Maybe make it 100 and, um, and bold, okay? So that's that's what it's going to look like, yeah? And again, what am I going to say? I'm going to say windscreen. So add event, system, next. What am I going to say? I'm going to say um, at every time, yeah, I'm going to um, make the wind score say set text, I'm going to say, um, what do we say? Winning score space, and then what is it? And collect count. Yeah, done. Yeah. So when I go to the win screen, it's going to say winning score equals whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, what I'll also do is I'll go back to the dungeon and remember. When he gets chalice two, he goes to the windscreen. Yeah. So it should go straight to the windscreen. And when the windscreen, the windscreen is going to say this. And then what I want to do is eventually I want to go system. I want to go back to the other layout. Yeah. So once I've finished, I want to go back to the dungeon layout. Yeah. So um, I'll go to windscreen. Yeah. I'll press play and it says, oh, did you see it went straight back to the, um, straight back to the, the dungeon. So what I'm probably going to need to do is I'm going to need to add an action system. Wait, wait for, um, what do you reckon? Um, five seconds done and then go back. And of course that's going to need to be up there. So let's try that again. Um, I'll go back to windscreen. Yeah. And then I press play. So winning score. Yay. There's a space between double N and the I. I don't know why. Waits for five seconds and then it goes back again and starts again. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to go to there. I'm just going to double click on that and change that to winning score in the space. Done. The other thing that I want to do is I want to reset the score as well. So I'm going to go system. I'm going to set the value of collect count back to zero. Yeah. So when they go back to the dungeon, we set the collect count back to zero and you start again. Does that make sense? That makes sense to me. Yeah. So let me, let me just, let me just play, let me go back to here and let me move myself. I'm going to move myself up to, up to there, let's say. Yeah. And let's just play and see what, what we get. Um, so I go up and I go up and then I can't see, I can't see the, I can't see the thing. Where's it going? Oh, hang on, let me just pause. I know what I did. Um, what I've done is I haven't made that immovable. I need to make that immovable because what's actually happened is as I press play, it's disappeared out of the screen because it's got gravity on it. Yeah. So now I've made it immovable. 
Again, these ones are also immovable. You can see that they're immovable, so they don't move um, with re regards to gravity. So let's try it again. Um, yep, yeah, that's so I got 100 points, and then I go and I should get another 200 points. Oh, I missed it. Oh, man, you idiot. Let's try it again. Sorry. <laughs> so bad um uh i hit it yeah and i go straight to winning score equals 300 yeah wait for five points wait for five seconds sorry and then i go back to where i started again okay and the score goes back to zero that's really good i'm pleased with that um that's a really good way of setting up a scoreboard okay i'm gonna go and sorry i know this is gonna be a longer video but what I've done is I started playing around with these things. These are skeletons. I've got skeleton one and I've got a skeleton two as well. So there's some of them are skeleton ones, some are skeleton twos, yeah? And what I'm gonna do to skeleton two, I'm gonna give skeleton two a behavior. So I'm gonna go here and um, edit the behaviors. I'm gonna make skeleton two, I'm gonna make him sign which is what the, the evil bats do, yeah? So he's gonna go left and right, yeah? So I'm gonna to go to there, skeleton two, skeleton two, the movement's horizontal, yeah? And I'm gonna make the magnitude like um, 200 or something like that, yeah? And now I'm gonna move him back to here somewhere and I'm gonna press play. Can you see they're going left and right? Yeah, they're going left and right. Okay, so that's skeleton two. Um, and then I'm going to go to skeleton number one and I'm going to add a behavior onto him. I'm gonna make skeleton number one also um, sign, yeah? But I'm gonna make it um, vertical instead. And I'm gonna make it, I don't know, I'll do it the same thing, 200, yeah? Okay, and then when I press play, you'll be able to see this. So some are going up and down, some are going left and right. You can see Mr. Martinez is doing the same thing. Can you see how I keep disappearing and coming back in again? Keep disappearing and coming back in again? Because I've done some other, um, I've done some other coding that I'll show you now, yeah? So I've just shown you how to edit some behaviors and make those characters move around a little bit, yeah? Um, now I wanna go to the, um, the training and show you the, this here and show you what I did. So add-ons points, I've just added that. So I said, when the knight collides with skeleton one, I want the knight to destroy and restart the layout. Yeah. So just this, it's exactly the same as the evil bats. Yeah. I've also done the same thing for skeleton two. I've also done the same thing with Mr. Doors two. Yeah. And I've also done the same with Mr. Martinez two. Yeah. So there's MRM one and there's MRM two. Yeah. So these ones are the twos, that one there and that one there. You can see they're called MRM two. And the ones that are over here, that's MRD1 and MRM1, okay? So going back to here. So I've, I've said that. So if I touch, if the knight touches the skeleton or the teachers, then it destroys. Although if I manage to hit it with a sword slash, then I destroy it and I get 10 points, okay? Um, on skeleton two, um, I destroy it. Oh, sorry, on, on skeleton two, if I destroy it, I get 15 points for skeleton two. Um, Mr. Dawes is worth 50 points and Mr. Martinez is worth 100 points. So can you see every time I collect, I kill one of them, I get some points. So let's just go play again and I can see. Oh, I got killed. Oh, dang it. Okay, let me move myself back and um, I probably need to move myself over here. Yeah. And this is, this is, this is you playing now. Yeah. This is you deciding what's, what variables, what behaviors you want to add to the skeletons and things, but this is where you want to start playing and make it a little bit of fun. So I start there. I'm going to start killing things and kill that one. I kill that one. I kill Mr. Martinez. My score has gone up to 125. Can you see, I've also made this stone um, solid, so I can't just go straight through it. So I've got to jump over it and then I've got to kill, 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 kill. kill. Yeah. Okay, and then I can keep going and you can see I can collect my quick scores. I've got 330 points, I've got 300 and 430 because I get that one and then I get to there and I get my winning score of 630 points, yeah? So why don't you go ahead and have a bit of a play with that? I'm just gonna go back to here and I'm just going to show you this. These are exactly the same. So this, um, this knight on collision with skeleton one and sword flash skeleton one, this here and here, is exactly the same for skeleton one, yeah? 
and then it's the same for skeleton two. You can see skeleton two, skeleton two, Mr. Dawes two, Mr. Dawes two, Mr. Martinez two, Mr. Martinez two. What you can do if you wanted to is you can highlight those, Command C, copy, yeah, and then down the bottom here, oh, sorry, and then down, and then and then Command V, and they just drop them down the bottom. So what I did is I I coded skeleton one, and then I just copied and pasted it a couple of times, and then double clicked on here, skeleton one, and I changed it from skeleton one to skeleton two, Mr. Dawes two, Mr. Martinez two, yeah? So, so that's what I've done to there, and you can play with that however much you want, yeah? So you can play around with the speeds, um, again, with skeleton one, you can play around with the, the vertical sine wave, the period is four, you can make it go slower, you can make it go faster. So period is four seconds. So it moves backwards and forwards 200 points in four seconds, yeah? So if I made that one second, for example, let's see what happens now, yeah? So it's gonna go up and down and up and down and up and down much quicker because it's doing the whole period of uh, the, the whole wave up and down in one second instead, yeah? So, so by playing around with that, yeah, if I made it eight, yeah, it's much slower yeah and it might be easier to kill yeah um but play around yeah this is this is your opportunity to play around and see whether you can make something interesting and fun um on this back like i said the scoreboard's a really really good one to have yeah this here now that i've um, changed it i'm going to delete that out yeah um the final thing i mentioned if i wanted to this win score i could maybe give the win score a behavior um, one of the behaviors that I that I, I see is like making it fade in. So making it fade. And then once I've got that, I can go to here and I can I can go, yes, fade, yes, good. I want to fade. Um, go to windscreen. So I go to windscreen, click on fade, and I can make it fade in over three seconds and I can wait for um, another three seconds and then I can make it fade out over um, over two seconds, yeah? So again, if I go to there, you can see it should come in, fades in, stays for a few seconds, and then it disappears. And of course, we go back to, to where we go back to, yeah? So playing around with the timing thing is, is another thing that you can do to make it um, to make it work to your advantage, yeah? So have fun. This is this is the time where you just have fun now, yeah? So, so play around with this, see what you can do to change. You can, if you wanted to, you can um, drag that, you know, move that over. Oh, sorry, I've, I've got them all. I can drag one at a time, you know, move that one here. If I wanted another one, I can just pull it and pull it into here. Yeah, so I can add skeletons wherever I want. You can see I've got another one there as well. Yeah, um, so there's all those sorts of things. I can drag skeletons in. I can move, I could move another couple of those evil bats if I wanted to, move them somewhere. Yeah, so really make it hard for um for people to um for, to play the game you can make the game harder just by playing around with those okay enjoy i did